world of torment, Tides of Numenera is rife with conflict. But you can avoid or resolve dangerous situations in bloodless ways, using deception, persuasion, or stealth. However, your decisions or even just a bad roll of the dice may mean that sometimes blood will need to be spilt. Your road to victory starts with your character. By completing quests, making discoveries, and overcoming challenges, you gain experience you can use to increase your might, speed, and intellect. Invest in traits that improve your chance to hit and deal damage, or upgrade your various skills. After earning enough advancements, you reach a new tier. This unlocks a selection of exclusive abilities, including passive bonuses for both offensive and defensive actions. Your abilities are important, but so is your equipment. You'll discover potent weapons and armor, but the most powerful items are ciphers. These devices can burn large areas, suck the life out of enemies, or summon alien beings. But there's a catch. Each cipher is unique and becomes completely drained after one use. The power of ciphers also comes with a cost to you. Carrying too many negatively affects your combat capabilities, or can even cause the ciphers to explode. So it's crucial to increase your cipher limit whenever possible. There are plenty of recruitable companions in the game, and you can travel with up to three of them at once. You get full control over them during combat, giving you access to their weapons, ciphers, and unique abilities, such as trans-dimensional alter egos or living tattoos. If you still find yourself outnumbered, some ciphers and abilities allow you to conjure mysterious creatures. Nanos can summon flaming creatures that do a great deal of damage and draw enemy attacks, while jacks create illusory warriors who help you flank your targets. Even if it's already come to violence, that doesn't mean it's kill or be killed. Mid-combat, you can talk to certain enemies to try to persuade or intimidate them. Knowing who to kill first is also helpful. When a group of mercenaries attack, try focusing your attacks on their leader. Once dead, the rest might run away or surrender, sparing you the trouble of fighting them. But what if, despite all your efforts, you still die? In Torment, Tides of Numenera, death is not the end. Once dead, you end up in the Castoff's Labyrinth, a mysterious maze deep inside your own mind. Explore the labyrinth to uncover new subplots, increase your power, and come back to life even wiser than before.